Watch the complete playlist on the app Pions. Download the app now. 10 volt battery of negligible internal resistance. So there is a battery over here, 10 volt, okay, of negligible internal resistance. So we are assuming that internal resistance is zero. Is connected across a 200 volt battery over here and a resistance of 38 ohm as shown in the figure. Find the value of the current in circuit. Clear? So we know from Ohm's law voltage V is equals to I R. Correct? So current I must be equals to amount of voltage in the circuit upon the resistance in the circuit. The total voltage upon total resistance, right? That's the current. So to find the value of current, you have to first find what is the voltage across this whole circuit. Because there are two batteries, okay. So for the minute to figure out the voltage, okay, let's imagine this like this. So this is our 10 volt over here. This is our 10 volt battery. Let's ignore this 38 ohm for the time being and just connect. Positive is connected to positive of this 200. Like this it is, correct. So if you ignore this resistance, our 10 volt battery is connected to 200 with a positive terminal to the positive terminal. Be very careful, okay. So, in positive to positive, if it is connected in the same loop, whole loop, okay, if the loop is changing, then the things will be different. Be very careful. But if it is in the same loop, if they are connected with positive with positive, then you have to subtract it, okay. Negative with negative, it will be subtraction. So, so when will it be, it be added? If you have a positive negative connected with positive negative, right. So, this negative is connected to the positive terminal, then in that case, we add the voltages, right. If they are in the same loop, listen very carefully, okay. If they are in different loops, then you have to be a little careful, okay. You have to follow Kirchhoff's rule. What will be that? We will see as we will move ahead. So, here we have only one single loop and these are the two batteries with positive connected to positive. Now, the question is, sir, uh, we have to subtract this 10 volt with 200 volt or we have to subtract 200 volt with 10 volt, okay. That's your choice here completely. If you want a positive result, okay. So, positive result here will be after subtracting 200 volt to minus 10 volt because obvious it is that if the battery is higher, the current will be larger going from 200 volt. So, by sign convention also, we will take 200 minus 10. That is the effective voltage in this whole circuit. And what is the effective resistance in this whole circuit? 38. So, 200 minus uh, 10, 0, 10 minus 1 is 9 and 190 upon 38, correct? So, 19 ones are 19 twos are correct. So that will be the 10 by 2 is nothing but 5 amps. So 5 ampere is the current which is flowing in this whole circuit.